We innovate healthcare. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, drawing attention to one of the leading causes of cancer-related deaths. On the upside, advances made in screening processes mean that more people are beating this killer. I had a colonoscopy where the specialist then detected cancer of the colon. And my immediate feeling about it is that I was silently stunned, but also accepted the fact that I had colon cancer. Both my parents had passed on. My mom had breast cancer and my father had colon cancer and they managed to give him a pouch that he wore for a very long time. Then he passed away from a heart attack, really, he didn't, not from the cancer. The first signs of colon cancer can be detected before any symptoms develop. With an increasing prevalence in Africa, screening is the difference between life and death. If we look at the incidence of cancer in South Africa and we look at the quoted statistics, the lifetime risk for a male is one in six and for a female is one in seven. And we know when we look globally and certainly in Africa, as populations urbanize and adopt different lifestyles, the incidence of cancer definitely does increase. If you do present with suspicious signs or symptoms, the investigation of choice is a scope, either colonoscopy or sigmoidoscopy, and essentially that allows us to look inside the colon and do a biopsy of anything that looks suspicious. That usually helps to confirm the diagnosis. A family history of breast or colon cancer places you at greater risk of developing the disease. Having experienced both with his parents, Nico's loved ones were understandably shaken. My family's reaction was, I would say, a mixed bag. It was of shock, maybe some anger and disbelief. Uh, you know, why did it happen? We know that most colon cancers arise from polyps, and polyps are benign growths on the inside of your colon. Over time, they have the ability of undergoing malignant change and developing into a cancer. And therefore, by screening patients with colonoscopy to look inside the colon and picking these polyps up at the stage before they become malignant, we have the ability of removing the polyp and thereby reducing the risk of developing a cancer. If we look at screening for colorectal cancer, we know that 90% of colon cancers occur after the age of 50, and very rarely do we make the diagnosis of a colon cancer in patients younger than 40, unless they have an inherited syndrome. And therefore, the average risk patient, that is someone with no family or personal history of colon cancer or polyps, the recommended age is 50 to start with screening, and then every 10 years thereafter. However, if you have increased risk, either because of a personal or family history, the recommendation is to start earlier, and usually that would be age 40, with the frequency of five years as opposed to 10. Due to vigilant screening and rapid treatment, Nico has been able to beat colon cancer and enjoy the things he values most. I think what helped me through it all was my family, my children, friends, and Nico being so positive. He was the main one, he was so positive. Many days I used to cry and carry on, but he never seen it. And yeah, I used to get angry as well, but I was fine. It's very, very difficult seeing my dad like that. He wasn't there the day she was born. because he had just had chemo. And I was very sad. But he came the next day, very ill, very weak, to see his granddaughter and hold her. And I'm glad that he's gonna see them grow. The advice that I can give is to have faith, uh, be positive, try and live a healthy life. And last but not least, listen to your body. 
We know that with screening programs and early detection and diagnosis of colon cancer, the survival rates continue to increase. And with modern day treatment, this is a disease that can be treated and can be cured. Lifestyle factors that increase your risk of developing colon cancer include high alcohol and red meat consumption, a diet low in fiber, and you guessed it, smoking. We innovate healthcare.